The Chennai Metro Rail has been connecting different parts of the city for seven years now. On 29th June 2015, the first Chennai Metro Rail chugged off from Coimbedu to Alandu. It was a 10 km stretch. As of today, the trains have run for over 2 crore kilometers and have carried over 11.7 crore passengers. The Phase 1 and Phase 1 extension of Chennai Metro Rail stretches for 54 kilometers and stops at 42 stations over two corridors. It was established at a cost of 18,370 crore rupees. By connecting all important transport hubs in the city, it compensates for its limited connectivity. The Chennai Metro Rail is now working on the Phase 2 network. The construction of pillars has begun and tunnels will be built soon in areas from Madhavaram to Sipkot, Lighthouse to Punamalli and Madhavaram to Sholinganallur. This phase is estimated to cost 61,843 crore rupees and runs for 118.9 kilometers. From an average of 10,000 passengers a day, Chennai Metro Rail now serves over 1.7 lakh passengers on an average every day. The 90-meter train can hold up to 1,200 passengers. The rail service's punctuality is regarded as the most important reason for its success. Officials say that since 2015, the punctuality of the Chennai Metro Rail system has been recording over 98%. In the year 2021-22, Chennai Metro Rail recorded the highest punctuality rate of 99.88%. By 2026, the Chennai Metro Rail aims to lay three additional corridors that expand the whole network to 173 kilometers. They hope to shift 25% of public passenger trips to the Metro Rail. Passengers say, while it is definitely convenient, the system still has quite a lot of shortcomings that need to be ironed out for ease of commuting. Some of them include a full-fledged last-mile connectivity system and a smooth integration with other modes of transport that would give passengers a truly world-class experience as the Chennai Metro Rail continues to expand.